Oh no, I'm gonna pop the ability. Bro, that's e-golem number three. I have to zap. Oh no, 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 please no, I'm in danger. Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be playing some golem on top ladder. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm having a great day. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, guys, I am gonna be playing this no skill golem deck. It does have the evo zap here now, actually, instead of the barbarian barrel. I feel like it's a really nice addition to this golem deck. Because before this golem deck didn't really have a second evolution slot, but now with the evolved zap, you have like a bit more answers to range cards. You also have that secondary spell, I guess. Well, secondary evo, not really spell. And then you also have like a little bit more ways to get tower damage. Because sometimes whenever you got their tower really weak with this kind of golem deck, you weren't exactly able to finish off the tower, but now at least you have a zap. So hold up. I can just go for the electro dragon here, I guess see what this guy wants to do about it this guy does have a golem i have to be a little bit careful of that i'll pop the little prince ability here and okay i think i should be fine on defense if i just go for the nato i also want to zap as well so my lp doesn't get pulled away <laughs> nice zap right there wait what it still got pulled away anyway okay well i guess that fisherman had a mind of its own it was pulling whatever and anything that it wanted to okay i'm gonna heal her here and should be a fine defense actually you know Stuff could have went worse, but I'm honestly fine with that defense. Now I could go for the Elixir Collector. Also, I feel like this should be pretty easy for me. I mean, I do have the Battle Healer. Battle Healer works really, really well against other Golem decks, usually. As long as they don't have, like, a Lightning, I guess, for the Electro Dragon. Okay, my Evolve Barbarian should take out those E-Barbs very nicely. And he'll, he'll also need to defend them, too. Not really the greatest E-Barbs by this guy, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go for the Elixir Collector now. Yeah, those barbarians will get a ton of damage if he doesn't stop them. Wait, what is this guy doing? Um, buddy, you can't do that. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Come on. Come on, man. Come on, defend. Dude, that got like nearly 4,000 damage. That got like 3,600 damage. <laughs> I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Okay, I'll battle healer here to predict the fisherman. Perfect. I just need to keep the LP alive here. If I just go for the tornado plus Evo Zap, it should actually take care of that entire push. Also, my E-Drag will get a ton of value too. Look at that. I can Barbarians as well just to block everything. And then I'll battle healer too. And I don't even think I need to break through with the golem right now. But if I just golem the bridge on the right, that should be tower down on one of the lanes. Because he can't really defend both of them, honestly. Yeah, he had to go for the E-Barbs there. I'll just zap on top of the bats. And then I do have Tornado for the Fisherman if he wants to go for the Fisherman. He can Fisherman now. Okay, I'll Tornado at opposite lane. Oh, wait. What? What the heck? Oh, the E-Drag stunned it. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Man, I don't know how that Fisherman still pulled the Golem. But either way, I just need a Zap plus Tornado to finish off the tower. Oh, unless the left side gets finished off. Okay, well, I'll take that too, I guess. <laughs> really nice win right there. I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, guys. We're in the next match here against Hulk Macalot. And man, this guy is kind of known on top ladder for running no skill decks. He's not really a bad guy. Actually, I think he's quite a good guy. I've never really had any issues with this guy. He's always been very kind and respectful during the matches. It's just that, man, the decks this guy plays are so toxic, like Elixir Golem and stuff like that. Nobody really likes Elixir Golem, but I actually think he's a pretty nice guy. By the way, remember... Guys, always remember, sometimes, like, I feel like I need to come to this own advice as well, but remember, it, it is just a game at the end of the day, so, um, hate the, like, hate the deck, not the player, I guess, hate the game, not the person, like, this guy didn't do anything wrong, even though he is playing this toxic deck, so please don't go send hate to him, I've actually noticed, like, a few people that I beat on ladder, like, uh, if I'm laughing at them or something like that, people end up, like, going and, like, hating on them in their, like, YouTube channel or Twitter account, and, um, I don't really, like, want you guys to do that even if like i do have problems with the person i guess um you should keep that between me and them i guess even though i don't really care to have problems with anyone honestly it it is just a game at the end of the day so <laughs> please don't please don't hate this guy i guess is what i'm trying to say i actually might be in a lot of trouble here i think he's gonna take my tower i'll just e-drag here but i don't think he'll be able to defend my golem push I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go for the evo zap here and i should be all right as long as i don't get three crowned i'm fine he goes for the elixir collector but I'm just going to go for the golem in the back here. I was thinking about goleming at the bridge, but I think that's kind of a bad move. <laughs> yeah, he already calls the good game. I think as long as he doesn't three crown me, I'll win. I think it's going to be a three crown race right here, which I think I have the advantage in just because I do have the battle healer. And then I also have the evil barbarians to help me out on defense too. Okay, I'm going to healer. And this is all I'm going to do. I'm not going to e-drag. I think if I e-drag, he'll three crown. Actually, I'll go for it anyways, I think. 
I have Evo Barbs and Zap and Nato, so I should be okay. Because if I just go for the Evo Barbs on his support units, I should be fine. Ooh, I have to zap that, man. I really don't want to zap that, but if I don't zap that, it's just going to distract my E-Dragon LP for too long. All right, I'm going to Evo Barbs here. I'll heal her as well, try to keep them alive. NATO everything back to keep my Barbarians a little bit healthy. All right, I need the LP here. Wait, I actually might get three crowned, guys. Oh, no. I'm going to pop the ability. Bro, that's E-Golem number three. I have to zap. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, no. I'm in danger. I'm going to Barbarians here. Battle Healer 2, man. Please, come on. Okay, let's go. I'm going to NATO this backwards. Actually, I don't even need to. I think I won anyways. I'm just going to Golem on the King Tower. Let's go, guys. Very nice defense at the end right there. I'm surprised that I actually held on to my King Tower, but... <laughs> at the same time i guess the barbarians put in a ton of work like i said they would let's go we're in the next match here against lyy heart something in chinese <laughs> if any of you guys are chinese please let me know down below what that actually means i always get curious on what people actually have in their in-game names also I just wanted to take some time to actually thank you guys for all the support. I did a live stream earlier today, and man, the messages on the stream were just so kind, and honestly, just, they really touched me, to be honest. Like, it was so, so sweet. Like, I guess the impact, I guess, I can have on some people's days, and a lot of you guys were telling me how, I guess, I help out your day, I, I brighten your day, and I actually had a few people message me on Twitter after the live stream saying that like the live streams help them out and i didn't really know that my live streams could like affect people and help them out when they're like in a bad spot but i'm really glad like i guess it does and just know that you can always get through whatever you're going through man always know that and uh i'm glad that i guess some people can use my i guess videos as like a a, a positive outlet in their life i guess and just something to like d distract themselves from everything that's going on it really, really does mean a lot. And I do see your guys' messages, by the way. I do see the comments, whether I respond to them or not. I honestly could be better at responding and, like, favoriting and, like, just letting you guys know I have seen it. So I'll make sure to work on that. I think that's, like, a personal thing that I want to work on. But I do see it. I do see it. And I am going to be looking about getting my Discord server active again and actually talking in there more often again. Just because I do feel like in interacting with you guys more only, like, benefits everybody i guess because i love doing it and i know obviously like you guys if you're trying to interact with me you guys would appreciate if i actually did so i'll be working on my discord server getting that active again and stuff like that wait i can nato this backwards actually and that should kill it yeah nice really good nato wow okay nice i think if i evo zap on the balloon i should keep my tower but man i, I don't know if i will so i'm just not gonna go for it i don't want to risk because imagine if i evo zap on top of the balloon and it lives and then like I just lose my tower and I wasted my Evo Zap. I'd rather just kill a Skelly Jags. Ooh, really nice Barbarians right there. Those Barbarians plus Healer should actually counter his Barbarians. And then it's going to be a three crown threat. Hold up. I'm going to Golem towards the King Tower right here. I just want to keep on attacking his three crown. This could actually be really good. I'm going to E-Drag here because I know he's going to try to Inferno Dragon. Ooh, okay. He didn't actually go for the Inferno Dragon just yet. I'm going to NATO this. Nice. I'm going to Zap. Oh, wait, the E-Drag actually tar turned around and targeted the Inferno Dragon. That's kind of weird. I'm going to Battle Healer here. Oh, no, that was a bad healer, man. That was completely wasted. Really good Evo Zap by my opponent, honestly. I didn't expect it. <laughs> it's fine, though. I should be all right. He might Lava in the back, though. I'm going to LP here in case he goes Lava in the middle. Oh, yeah, he tried to go Evo Barb's Balloon. I'll just E-Drag here on top of the Inferno. I mean, not the Inferno Dragon, on top of the Balloon. Sorry, misspoke. I'm going to NATO this, and... Very clean defense. I don't even think I take a death bomb. Yeah, nice. Man, I don't think it's going to be easy to attack the King Tower anymore. I think I could just Golem. Maybe I won't, though. I think I could maybe just Zap Cycle and get to my Evo Zap so I have Evo Zap for the Scaly Jigs. There's no point to get too aggressive when I have such a big damage advantage. All I'm doing is, like, risking the loss, I guess, when I don't really need to risk anything when I'm in a really, really good position right here. I'll E-Drag. I could also Evo Barbs the bridge behind this to get to my Evo Zap. Then I'll Evo Zap on the Eye Drag and the Skeleton Dragons. Really nice Evo Zap. Healer's coming down. I'm going to NATO everything. All right, not bad. I'm going to go for the Little Prince. Maybe I won't. I'll wait. I'll wait. Man, I'm getting too antsy here. I can just LP low. <laughs> All I need to do is play defense to get one good Golem in the pocket. I think this is my opportunity to just Golem in the middle because no matter what he does, my Golem will at least reach the tower. I have Zap for the Inferno Dragon, so my Golem will get one punch on the tower and then the Golem exploding will take it down. Really good win right here, guys. I feel like I played this one pretty well. I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm in the next match here against Mercy.
I'm going to show this guy no mercy at all, <laughs> even though his name is Mercy. Guys, never show mercy in the arena. Always make sure to grab your trophies in the win. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go for the zap here to cycle to my evolve zap. Wait, he was in Fisherman. Is this going to be Royal Giant? Yeah, it's probably going to be Royal Giant, I guess. Nothing else really plays with Fisherman ever. Barbarians? Okay, I actually have no idea what this could be. Barbarians, Royal Giant, I guess? Man, this is going to be so difficult, actually. He has Barbarians and Fisherman for my Golem. And P.E.K.K.A.? Wait, this guy has P.E.K.K.A., Fisher, and Barbarians. Wait, I'm going to NATO this back, actually, to make sure that Ewas dies and doesn't kill my Electro Dragon. Oh, this is going to be really difficult, man. Okay, I can just go for my Barbarians here. Arrows definitely doesn't kill it. Yeah, Arrows and Zap, but he's pretty low on Elixir. Wait, how does he defend my Evolved Barbarians? This is actually going to be really annoying for him. Okay, the Cannoneer will help. Wait, I'm going to zap on the Mother Witch, maybe. I think if I... Nah, I'll just let it go and pump up. I should get some pretty good damage to start out anyways. Yeah, definitely not bad getting his tower to 2,000 HP to start out the match. If he goes in, though, I might be in a bit of trouble. Okay, Evo Barbs. I'll go for my LP here, then pop the ability. I think I'm going to have to zap as well. If I zap here, I should be okay, but I'm definitely going to take, like, maybe a little bit of damage. He's going to get another Mother Witch Piggy. Yeah, please hit the Mother Witch. Okay, perfect. Man, if, 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 if that targeted on the piggy, I would have been in trouble. I'll E-drag here so the Ram Rider doesn't get a charge on my tower. All right, not bad. I am going to take quite a bit of damage here from the Ram Rider, but with Golem, guys, it's all about building up that big push and actually, like, overwhelming them than it is to save all your tower HP. As long as you have, like, a decent bit of HP, you should be fine. It's time for a golem. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to break through, though, because he does have Barbarians, Pekka, and Fisherman. Oh, Battle Healer, too. Guys, if I win this game, I think it's testament to how broken the Battle Healer is, because I feel like that's the only thing I really have going for me in this matchup. Oh, Little Prince here, too. Okay, I'm going to Barbarians on top of the Fisherman. That will support the golem. I think that was a bad Fisherman. It just pulled it away from the Pekka. Wait, I'm going to Evo Zap here on the Barbs, and then Nato the Mother Witch into the Evo Zap. Okay, wait, hold up, guys. I think I'm cooking. Wait, I need to E-drag? If I can defend this P.E.K.K.A. push, I win the game. Hold up, I just evil Barbarians, and I won! Yo, that was actually a really good Barbarians at the bridge. That Fisherman kind of messed him up badly. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Really, really good game right there, actually. That's going to be a good game, so I'll see you guys in the next match. We're in the next match here against Master Killer. Just going to go for the Zap here and try to figure out what this man is playing. Okay. I think I'll go for the Split Barbarians too. Guys, with this deck, the best thing that you can do is cycle your Evo's first play. Also, just play the cheapest card to get to your Elixir Collector. That works too. But if you can cycle to your Evolutions right before you play your Elixir Collector, that's always great too. Just because, like, if you go for Evo Barbs, like Barbs Split to get to your Evo Barbs and then Elixir Collector, that's probably the best thing that you can do. Or like Zap and then Pump. Just because you're only playing one card before your pump and you're also cycling towards an evolution. I could pop the Little Prince ability here. Looks like this guy's running Expo. Man, interesting Expo deck coming out from this guy with the Archer Queen. Not really many people play with the Archer Queen Expo anymore, but it seems to be making a bit of a comeback. In this matchup, you never want to put a 4 Elixir card in the back. If you put a 4 Elixir card in the back, they will just Expo the bridge and kind of wreck you. So you have to be very careful, okay? I don't want to do anything here. I'm just going to NATO the Knight backwards. Just because if I do anything else, he'll just go for the Expo opposite lane. Yeah. And now you see if he goes for the Expo, I'm ready with the Golem. All right. Oh, man. I'm going to have to E-drag here. But now I do have the Little Prince plus her ability if he goes Expo on the left. So you always just want to have something for the Expo, basically. Because there's no reason to go for an Elixir Collector in single Elixir. Because if you pump in single, all you're doing is risking a loss. There's no really need... I feel like if you wait until double the pump up, you can't really lose. I find it like impossible because they just have to play perfect defense. And it's really hard to play perfect defense against Golem Battle Healer. Wait, if I go Healer here, that will keep my Little Prince alive. It shouldn't even really take any damage. It should be full HP. And now I should just be able to go for Evil Barbs at the bridge. This is going to get me a really nice positive Elixir Trader right here. I could pop the ability as well. Hold up, this guy's actually in a bit of trouble. I have five Barbarians, a Little Prince, and the Guardian. Yeah, he poisons again, and now I can just go for my pump. Yeah, nice. I'm I'm up in Elixir, and he has no poison in cycle, so this is the perfect time to go for the pump. I feel like you can do small stuff like that to get the Elixir Collector down, and then now I just can't see myself losing. If if I lose from here, I'm terrible. I'm going to Golem in the back. Looking really good so far. If he Expos, I have Battle Healer, then E-Drag, or Battle Healer, and then Little Prince. Okay, I'm just going to heal her in the back here. <laughs> man, I feel bad for this guy for what I'm about to do to this man. 
I'm going to go for the Little Prince here. And then this should just be over because I have the healer. Ooh, that was a bad poison, bro. That was a bad poison. Okay, I'm just going to Evo Zap here. Evo Zap will take out the Archer Queen with that E-Drag. I'm going to go for Golem number two. <laughs> Man, I have double Golem on this guy. I'm going to go for the second healer as well. If I was this guy, I'd be crying right now, man. Oh, wait, I'm going to Tornado that Archer Queen. Actually, no, I won't. There's no point. I was going to E-Drag again. That Golem should just completely overwhelm him. <laughs> Bro, okay, now I'll NATO it opposite lane just so the Archer Queen can't help out anymore. And yeah, this is over, man. I feel bad for this guy, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get the win. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm in the next match here against John Wick. I'm just going to go for the Zap and see what this guy's playing. Oh, he has the Bats. Okay, man. Not many people are actually playing with bats anymore. Oh, he goes for the knight at the bridge. I'll just go for the barbarians here. I have no idea what this is. Bats and knight. Okay. Man, sometimes I need to pay attention to what the evos actually are. Because I don't really pay attention to the little purple thing that goes above to tell me what's evo or not. He definitely has evo knight. Not sure about the bats though. Oh no, he, he does have evo bats. I just saw. All right, I'll tornado here, and then I can li uh, little prince for the bats, dude. I always stutter saying li little prince, bro. <laughs> I always stutter saying little prince. Literally, no matter what, I even tried to call it out, and I stuttered again. I don't know what it is with me trying to say the little prince, but I just can't say it, man. If I say it like three or four times, it's a hundred percent. I'll stutter at least once or twice. Okay, I'm gonna pump here, and if he goes for the lumber loon, I could just try to block the bridge, or even e drag. I think e drag will only give him maybe one or two shots. Preferably, I want to give him zero, though, just because he already did get one balloon hit too many. Okay, I'm going to block the bridge here. Perfect. Let's go. And then if I E-drag here, that should get zero shots on my tower. And it will take out the Evo Bats as well. Yeah, really good defense right there. I'll zap here on top of the Bats as well. Nice. Okay. Looking pretty good, guys. I think if I just build up a Golem push with Healer, he actually can't defend. It seems like in undefendable for him unless he has, like, a Executioner. But I really don't think he has, like, an Executioner NATO in here, so... I should just have, like, a really good matchup on my hands here. I'm just going to go for the Golem in the back, and I think it should be over, honestly. If this guy defends this, I'll have to honestly just applaud him or something. I'm not even going to waste my healer. I'll just LP here so I, I don't get three crowned. The LP will hang back long enough as well so the Golem goes in front. It should actually take out the Balloon, too. I could have NATO to save my tower, but I feel like I can just three crown him right now. I'll just go for the Battle Healer plus E-Drag. And I really don't think he can defend his King Tower. If he defends his King Tower, that's actually quite impressive, honestly. I'm going to... Uh, I want a NATO, but I'll pop the ability here. E-Drag is kind of distracted, but now it will take care of the Musketeer. As long as the... um, As long as... Okay, I'm going to NATO here. I just need to make sure it dies. I can go for the second Battle Healer. I do have Evo Zap as well for the Musk, but I'll keep the Evo Zap for a second in case he wants to go for Bats or something. All right, I'm just going to go for the Evo Zap now since he's not going for Bats. I'll go for the LP here just in case. And yeah, this guy is going to be three crowned, man. Really, really nice win here. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.